The current revolution in grazing management needs to be complemented by a cattle breeding revolution. And we have to do that very quickly. If we see the type of cattle we have, they are definitely not suited. The majority of them are not suited for grass conversion efficiency. We are trying to change an efficient ruminant into an inefficient hog. And that is a problem that we have. So we have to try and rewind history by 60 or 70 years to find the right genetics. So growing more grass is relatively easy. Efficient utilization of herbage is the greater challenge. The problem with conventionally bred cattle is that they need to graze selectively in order to be productive. Because of the higher nutrient requirement of the cattle the way they breed, the only way we can maximize production per animal is by allowing selectively graze. And that is a problem. By doing that, you are changing your grass species composition to a poorer type of grass. So we have to change the genotype of the cattle to allow us to use those cattle to improve the land and maximize profit per acre. All we're doing now is breeding prettier cattle, but we need to allow nature to do the selection for us, not man. Okay, the best that modern man has done is to breed cattle that are lean and so-called efficient and that require improved nutrition in order to be productive. That's all we've done. The biggest problem with cattle breeding is man, deciding what is desirable and what is undesirable. All current selection criteria are based on daily gain, absolute values, feeding weight, yielding weight, residual feed intake, so-called feed of conversion efficiency, net feed efficiency, they all result in inefficient cattle. More accurate measurement of inappropriate criteria is not very clever. And that's exactly what we're doing with EPDs and the current criteria we're using. Because fat meat contains much more energy than lean meat. All feed conversion efficiency tests are nullified because of that. Forget about EPDs. Forget about all this other nonsense. We have to read nature correctly and accelerate the process of natural selection. So what we have to do, we have to devise selection criteria that identify what nature is telling us is the most efficient grass converter, the most uh, fertile cow, and then we have to accelerate that process. That's all, that, that is the, the role that cattle breeders have. Nothing less and nothing more.